We begin with new developments in the crash that killed two suburban high school graduates over the weekend. Today, 32-year-old Denny Rubio appeared in court on several charges, including aggravated DUI resulting in death and reckless homicide. Prosecutors say Rubio crashed his car at a Hoffman Estates intersection on Saturday morning, killing two teenagers inside another car. NBC 5's Christian Farr spoke to one of the victim's mother about the tragedy. He was an amazing individual, touched a lot of souls, impacted a lot of lives. Those are the words Krista Tudela um, chose to describe her 18-year-old son, Deshaun, who died in a car crash Saturday with his partner, Amelia Mazikas. The Cook County State's Attorney says the recent high school graduates were victims of a drunk driver who may have also been high on drugs. They're always willing to help, always giving back. Tudela says the young couple, who were honored during a vigil last night, helped anyone they could. They touched a lot of lives and, and last night showed that. Um, it's unfortunate that they were taken far too young. Right before 9 Saturday morning, Tudela says Amelia was driving Deshaun to work when prosecutors say Denny Rubio crashed into their car in Hoffman Estates and then took off. The crash killed the couple and police were able to track down Rubio. Prosecutors say Rubio tried to grab an officer's weapon. Plus, he had alcohol in his system and crack cocaine was discovered in his pocket during the arrest. At the end of the day, he walked away with bumps and scratches. And our children walked away with, 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 without their lives. Tudela says Deshaun wanted to become a chef after high school. And now his mother is saddened that that dream will never become a reality. He was a damn good cook. An amazing person, very artistic. Rubio will be back in court on July 7th in Rolling Meadows, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.